Tonight's acceptance speech by the party's vice presidential nominee. CBS News' Weeta Jang joins us live from Cleveland with a look at what we can expect. Weeta, good morning. Good morning, Mary and Chris. We are expecting a packed day after a big night. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie delivered an explosive speech, giving us a glimpse of how heated the general election is about to become. But the Trump family also took center stage, a major part of the campaign's effort to give Trump an image makeover to show a softer side. Congratulations, Dad. We love you. The second day of the RNC proved to be a family affair. After Donald Trump was formally named the GOP's presidential nominee, two of his children addressed the convention during primetime. He's always helped me be the best version of myself. I know that when people tell him it can't be done, that guarantees that he gets it done. Trump's rival turned ally Chris Christie electrified the crowd with his so-called indictment of Hillary Clinton. For risking America's secrets to keep her own and lying to cover it all up. Clinton fired back at Christie over Twitter, writing, If you think Chris Christie can lecture anyone on ethics, we have a bridge to sell you. Then the war of words continued immediately after Christie's speech. If Hillary Clinton wants to take me on, I'm happy to take her on every day between now and the end of the campaign. The biggest speech of the convention tonight will come from Indiana Governor Mike Pence, who officially became Trump's running mate yesterday. California delegate Marilyn Barkey is looking forward to his address. And I look forward to hearing what they'll do together and how they'll put America first. Pastor Daryl Scott will also speak today. I'm going to speak from my heart uh, concerning the Mr. Trump that I know. Ivanka Trump will introduce her father tomorrow on the final night of the convention. And today, three of Trump's former rivals will also be speaking. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker and U.S. Senators Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz. Republicans will be paying close attention to what Cruz says for any hints about his presidential ambitions in 2020 if he loses, if Trump loses, that is, in November. We're live in Cleveland. Weijia Jang, CBS 2 News.